Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's another video. I mean, I was going to say something very philosophical, but I just ended on it's another video, and it's me. So you may be wondering why I don't have makeup on. Well, unfortunately, I had a reaction to something. I'm trying to figure out what it is. So I've put protective covering over my face. So I'm going to Alicia Keys this video. Anyways, my name is Ifa Labi. Please subscribe to my channel, and then let's get into this video. So. Today's video is a check-in. I'm checking in on Scandal. You know, Scandal on ABC. And Scandal was a huge show they are in their final season. And I decided that I'll do a swan song for Scandal, but I also wanted to do like a check-in for Scandal. So let's, I wanted to do a video to check in on Scandal. That after seven seasons, what exactly has gone on with Scandal? What has gone wrong with Scandal? And because a lot of people have stopped watching Scandal. Like the crowd that was following Scandal in season one are not the same people following Scandal in season seven. Which is a huge deal. So like I want to ask, why are people not watching Scandal as they used to? Like what changed about Scandal? I am asking my questions. I'm going to give my like my theories on why people are not really checking for Scandal. And I'll be waiting for your comments too. So the first thing that I think has put a lot of people off of Scandal is the whole love triangle thing. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. The whole Fitz and Jake situation. That Olivia and Fitz, Olivia and Jake. That whole situation after a while it just became problematic like one minute she's with Jake and they are going they are wearing the white hat and they are on a beach somewhere and the next moment she's with Fitz and she's doing the you know that mouth thing and it, after I was like oh my god I just pick one dick you want to ride like at this point just pick one because this whole Jake fit it became boring and in this season seven there have been like other people that she not other people, just this journalist. So basically, this whole Olivia Jake Fitz triangle was just too boring. And for me, it kind of diminished her as a woman because it was always that she needed either one of them to either save her, pour some sense into her. I don't know. I didn't like that whole vibe or the whole connection that they put her in. So it was like she was just in this situation where she needed saving from these men. And I did not like it at all about Scandal. Like, I felt like that triangle diminished Olivia as a character the next thing I do not understand or the next thing I think why Scandal has lost its viewership is that you know do you remember season one Scandal like in season one when you hear Olivia say it's handled the joy that comes into your heart it's not the same thing like I feel like Scandal has digressed so much from its original input it used to be about being a fixer in Washington so if you want something fixed go to Olivia Pope she will fix something for you she will you know whip up a miracle but right now it's that great so much that it's now seeing olivia becoming power hungry so i'm trying to figure out like i'm trying to see the you know the progression of olivia being this person that wants to help people to now she being i want power and i want the oval i don't know it makes it kind of weird so i spoke to a couple of people and when i asked them why they're like it's no longer fun like, it's, like it's, it's no longer fun watch it's no longer interesting watch at first when you watch scandal you're watching scandal because you are waiting for olivia pope to come out fix something with her white or black shadow and right now it's just she still has the same white or black shadow but it's still very right now it's just watching olivia pope isn't as exciting as she used to be because at first i remember her you know swirling her mac her nokia i remember her swelling her nokia phone and then you know fixing things right now it's just very very boring to watch kind of like it's digressed so much from its original premise like and the next thing about scandal is the whole b613 thing now at first when b613 came into the mix it came as a you know this super bad villain that will test everybody's metal that will you know shock people and you know after it served its purpose i kind of feel like b613 should have been that shadowy government organization that but you know they're trying to bring it out into the lights they're shutting it down and right now olivia has started b613 again kind of feels redundant in my opinion because it made b613 diminish because at first when you hear b613 you're thinking of man like you, you know with papa pope and she, he's doing all these things so you actually are like want to see what they're about but then it became some way and like the they came another organization that superseded b613 and i was like wait really i don't know so the whole b613 and you know they're trying to still force b613 down our throats in season seven is a tad 
too much like I think that it's just too much and the next thing about scandal is that there are no more white hats I don't care what they say there are no more white hats there's nobody in that show that is good they've all done some shady shit they've all done something that is morally reprehensible so this is my hope for scandal ending that nobody should have like a happy ending because they don't they haven't done shit that deserves happy ending they've all done some very very fucked up mess right so this whole idea that there's this white hat that Olivia Pope will ascend to or will wear one day, I think it's just very wrong. And if they're going to make Olivia Pope have a redemptive story, I really don't like it. I think she should be killed by the time Scandal is over. Like, Scandal is over and Olivia Pope is dead. And yes, I'd actually go with that because what she's done so far is very horrible. Like, they are very terrible things. Especially in this season 7 that she's the head of B613. Like, the thing she's been up to is weird. And nobody on that show has done anything that is good. Even Abby, that I thought that, oh, you know, she's like the good one. She helped to kill a president-elect. So at the end of the day, there's nobody that is like the person on the show. So the other thing about it, like the fact that nobody on the show deserves redemption. Like they shouldn't try and force a redemptive story on us because I feel like that's what they want to do in this final season. But no, we don't want that. And also. They should pick a side for Olivia Pope. Is she an all-out villain? Is she an anti-hero? Or is she, she shouldn't even be the hero. At this point, there should be no Olivia Pope isn't a hero. That should be accepted. And that is it. Like that should be the end. Olivia Pope isn't a hero. She's an anti-hero or she's an all-out villain. And for me, that would be a good character development. But like she started a show as this good person, as this person that even though she stole an election, she believed in the person that she stole the election for. And then she'll end the show as this power hungry person i think that's like a great way to end the show because if they try to end the show and she has this happy ever after i'd seriously be pissed like i'd be one of those people that would just blow my gas like i was i'm so pissed and also heading to the last season like this season seven i thought it would be about girl power because right now melly is in the white like she's a president so she's in the white house olivia is the chief of staff but you know, they found ways to make it about girl power and then diminish the power of that girl power because Melly is in office, but then we don't see Melly being in office because Melly is one of the smartest people on the show. But in so many ways, they made her look dumb in the, in the final season. I don't know if we've been watching the same show, but Melly in season seven has been like one dumb person because she's always she always comes up with, I'm the boss and she follow me. And then the next moment she's running like, Olivia, what did I do wrong? But I don't get it. Like, be the president or like be something else because at this point it's girl power but it's like girl uh no power so you see after seven seasons of scandal it has been like gone through its highs its lows its everything and a lot of accomplishments are owed to scandal because scandal was the first time that a black woman was the main character in a show like the first time i saw scandal i was impressed as hell and i was so excited so i used to go around telling people like oh you should watch scandal and you should watch scandal and right now whenever i ask people like oh do you still watch scandal they go like ah do they still show it it makes me very sad and you see after seven seasons i feel like there's a classic case of die a hero or live so much that you you are seen as a villain because scandal was such a hero was such an inspiration right now scandal is like the person that you're not checking for like it's kind of like if you see it like really you're still doing scandal which shouldn't be the case and checking in on scandal right scandal should have ended two seasons ago in my personal opinion scandal should have ended two seasons ago but they tried to like we get to taste this whole b613 this person is this papa pope Melly grant fitz grant jake it all feels redundant and the people in OPA I mean Olivia Pope left Olivia Pope and Associates and they still kept the name Olivia Pope and Associates I thought it would change it to Queen Perkins and Associates I don't know any of those things but Scandal I mean there's no way we cannot give Scandal is due because Scandal has been a game changer in the landscape of TV like Scandal has been everything but at the same time Scandal ending is kind of ending on a bittersweet note for me because I feel like it's opened so many doors to so many black actresses but at the same time it's ended on a not great tone so it's kind of like I'm very excited it happened but at the same time I don't like the way it's ending so you know 50 50 
But anyways, I'm now in this video. This was a check-in on Scandal. I'll do, a, as I said, I'll do a final video before its finale. You know, the series finale to end Scandal finally. So my name is Ifa Labi. You subscribe to my channel and please, honeys, check out my other videos that are going to be here. And I'll see you on my next video.